Tile Floor Heat. This video is a simple instructional guide to installing your perfectly warm tile floor heat system. Perfectly warm tile floor heating is one of the easiest radiant heating systems to install, which brings gentle and controlled warmth to your tile or stone flooring surface. It can be utilized as a primary or secondary heating system. The radiant heat elements are embedded in a durable mat, which includes the anti-fracture waterproof membrane and helps prevent the tile and stone flooring from cracking due to shifting in the subfloor below. Before installing your perfectly warm tile floor heat system, please read the installation instruction manual carefully. If you are unsure of any of the instructions, you can contact our technical helpline on 800-922-9276 and we will be happy to assist you. The perfectly warm tile heat system is made up of four major components. The tile floor heating panels, the wiring, the control device, and the floor structure. You will require the following to complete the installation. 1. The tile floor heating system and its attached factory connection. 2. The product installation and operating manual, including warning labels and checklist card. 3. A floor primer. A thermostat control with floor limit sensor and junction boxes. 5. Tools including a wire stripper, screwdriver, and wood chisel. 6. An ohm meter. All the components work together to create a system that will provide comfortable, trouble free heating. The selection and installation of each component is very important to the system's overall safe operation. Perfectly warm tile floor heat system can be installed on any standard subfloor so long as it is flat, smooth, and free from any objects such as nails, screws, and other loose objects. Designing your heating system. When designing the heating system, care must be taken to ensure that proper clearance is maintained from fixtures which may be part of the floor. To select the proper size heating mat, measure the area to be heated and determine the heating mat widths and lengths from wall to wall. Accurate dimensions are required for the proper size selection or for custom mats to be ordered and fabricated. It is important to allow up to 6 inches of clearance around the perimeter of the room and from any baseboard heating or permanent fixtures to allow the mats to fit without touching adjacent vertical surfaces or overlapping. Heating panels must be installed so that they will not be covered even in part by decorative trim, baseboards, or other structures on the floor. Note, heating panels which are covered by other structures may overheat. Electrical wiring in the floor, other than that for the heating system, must be at least two inches away from the heating panels and or separated from the heating panels by insulation or the building structure. Similarly, for heating sources such as hot water pipes, stoves, fireplaces, wood stoves, etc., at least eight inches of clearance must be maintained. Note. The tile floor heating mats cannot be cut or notched to fit around any obstructions or penetrations such as door openings or floor registers. A heat loss calculation must be completed if primary heating is desired to determine the energy required to adequately heat the space. It is good practice to plan your installation using a sketch, marking your layout pattern and planning the positions for floor sensor electrical mains connection, and thermostat. Use the sketch within the installation manual as a guide. Note that the thermostat should be located on an interior wall where it will not be subjected to direct sunlight and that the length of the non-heating leads is taken into account. 
Please ensure that non-heating leads will not cross over any heating elements. Before work can proceed, all electrical wiring that will not be accessible after installation of the heating system must be completed. This may require coordination with the electrical contractor. Preparing the floor. Make sure you sweep clear the floor of all debris, nails, etc. so the floor is smooth, clean, and dry. Roll or brush on a coat of primer according to manufacturer's instructions on the container and allow to dry for a minimum of 30 minutes. Note: Application of the primer is a requirement of the warranty. Alternative primer will negate the warranty. Installing the Tile Floor Heat Mat The connection leads from the tile floor heat mats are 10 feet long and can be cut to desired length to connect at the junction box. The heating mat should be laid out so the connection leads are running to the wall of the room where the thermostat junction box is located. 1. With the release liner still on, Position the mat into place making sure the leads are within reach of the junction box and that there are no floor obstructions. 2. When in proper position, roll the end with the connections back far enough to peel back approximately 12 inches of the release paper to expose a portion of the adhesive surface. 3. Press this exposed section of the mat onto the primed surface and then roll the other end back to the point where the release paper was removed. Four, slowly pull the release liner off and hand smooth the mat into position as it unrolls to achieve a positive bond while avoiding trapping air bubbles. Five, for adjacent mats, follow the same procedure starting with alignment of side-by-side -side mats in a butt joint fashion. Note, do not overlap mats. 6. Peel off the quick-release liner and set mat in place, leaving clearance to walls or partitions at the connector end for wiring and final connections. Please ensure to take care in the placement of the heating mats, as once adhesive side of the mat comes in contact with primed surface, it will provide a very strong bond. Thermostat Sensor Installation As the tile floor heat mats are installed, locate the thermostat sensor probe. The sensor should be set down so it is level with the mat and not on top of the mat. If thin setting over backboard or slab, Saw a groove to recess the sensor to the level of the mat. The sensor probe can be held in position within the groove with a small amount of tape. The sensor should extend approximately 6 inches to 12 inches from the wall adjacent to the mat shown and must be level with the mat. Heating Mat Lead Wire Connection Depending on the thickness of the mortar bed, you may also need to chisel a space under the point where the wires connect with the mat in order to recess the connection. Now, depending upon your wire lead installation, run the lead wires from the individual mats along the base of the wall and up to the junction box. Provide a visual check to look for any signs of damage to the mat or connection leads that may have occurred during installation. If damage is found or replacement assistance is required, contact 1-800-922-9276. Inspection, testing, and completion. A visual and electrical check must be performed on the heating mats prior to activation. Visual inspection. If any portions of a mat appear damaged, replace the entire mat. Electrical test. In order to detect any open circuits, use a digital ohm meter and conduct a resistance check across the supply leads of each mat. 
Record the resistance readings and use the resistance chart in the operating manual to determine the acceptable readings. Testing for heating. Note: Ensure that the breaker that will supply power to the heating mats has been turned off before making electrical connections. 1. According to the manufacturer's instructions, install the control device and connect it to the electrical panel box. 2. Wire the heating mat to the junction box and wire the junction box to the thermostat. 3. Apply caution stickers provided with mats in appropriate locations. 4. Turn on the breaker and adjust the thermostat so that it is calling for heat. 5. After the system has been on for several minutes, run your hand over the heating mats to ensure that they are warm. The system should now operate as designed. Note: Do not turn on the mat for 28 days, allowing the thinset and grout to mature. Note: All electrical connections should be performed by a licensed electrician. Documentation The checklist and system registration card records vital information about the installation you have just made. Fill out all requested information. Return the bottom copy to register the installation. The other two copies are for the homeowner and the installing contractor, respectively. The operating manual must be attached to the service panel so that it is easily accessible to the homeowner and any repair technicians. The installation is now ready to receive the final floor covering. Now complete the installation. We recommend working with professional flooring installers to make sure proper materials are used and proper installation techniques are followed. Use a digital ohm meter to check the resistance of the mat and sensor before, during, and after the installation of any floor coverings. Record the readings in the Heating System Checklist and Warranty Registration Form. Note: This training video should only serve as a guide and should never replace the existing installation manual, which must be comprehensively read before starting the installation process. For additional information, please visit 